guys, what's going on? My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is August 24, 2024, and welcome to the Real GS News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. We have a big breaking news red alert. It says here, prepare for an error of shock events. This is coming out from Claus. He's putting out the warning. We're going to see what's going on here. And uh, we have more breaking news updates. And here we go. B-2 Stealth Bombers. Hot pit at Indian Ocean Air Base. Position within striking range of Iran. You guys already know the Mideast has been on edge all week. As the world waits for imminent strike. You guys know Persia is uh, supposed to strike the Holy Land and it's been postponed or the ceasefire stuff but uh, yeah we don't know when things are gonna hit the fan this here is a uh, very very sad sad news uh, you have uh, Donald uh, he's coming out and um, it's dead silence in the arena when Donald says there are 325,000 missing young ones. Now, I was trying to look for this information, and I can't find it nowhere. I can't find it nowhere. Now, here's the deal, guys. I believe this number is, is legit. I believe the number might be up to close to a million. And the reason why we can't find this information is because the most powerful ones in the world they keep this under the rug so more than 20 million came to our sleeping giant land out of those 20 million you best believe young ones has been taken away or stripped away from their loved ones all right so once again many of these young ones are now and look at that i'm gonna skip this name here guys please try to understand when it comes to this story, many of us, we do get hit. So these young ones are either those two. Donna said probably mostly are gone. So they were swept out of their homes. They were taken out of their homes. Very sad story there. We have more breaking news updates. Ukrainian forces are planning to launch a huge event operation on the Kurzon region from the Black Sea. All right, so this is coming out from Kurzon Gov. He's putting out the information here. Guys, make sure you check out this video. I just dropped this video not too long ago. I'm going to leave this link in the comment box. It will be the only link in the comment box. You may want to check out this video. All right, so you guys know JF, I mean, I JF, RFK just endorsed 4 or 5, and they agreed that uh, they're going to release if Donald wins November. They're going to release JFK documents. So, this is a huge bombshell. You need to check out this video. You need to share it, please, if you can. And, uh, yeah, a lot of information is coming out, and uh, this is a huge bombshell here. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, some loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. All right, let's go with uh, with this one first, and then we're going to go with the, uh, the warnings that Claus has put out. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Now, it says Ukrainian Crane, troops may again try to land on the Tendrovskaya and the Skimbonskaya spits in order to put flags there and show the West 
that they have allegedly established themselves on the territory of Curzon region. For the sake of media performance, the Kiev regime is ready to send many of its soldiers to their well, there you go, death, hundreds, perhaps thousands, of whom are guaranteed to be out, the Gov said. The Curzon Gov accused uh, NATO and the U U.S. Special Operations Forces of coordinating this plan. The bear service men are ready to repel and to strike and crush the enemy, he emphasized. All right, so Curzon, you have Curzon, you have Kursk, you have uh, all these regions, and it, it seems like it seems like it's gonna be game over for Crane. They're just going all in. The sad part is that many of those crane forces will be gone. Prepare for a huge event, Mr. Claus warns. The WEF is a well-funded organization many consider mm -hmm. <laughs> a terrorist uh, that is per uh, permitted to wreak havoc on the global population with no repercussion. This individual and his forum have been uh, proclaiming how they would change the lives of the masses for years, but everyone turns a blind eye. Let's see what's going on here. They told us we would eat bugs. <laughs> they, uh, they told us we will own nothing. They've been warning of their sinister plans for some time. The WEF infiltrated gov cabinets and altered the left side of politics in every single Western nation. Earlier this week, the WEF recently released an ominous article warning that we must prepare for an era of shock events in the future. All right. Power disperses in a post superpower era. The forum stated years ago that one of its goals was to remove the sleeping giant title of global superpower. Are you serious? Since the 2020 erased. Again, you guys know what happened in 2020. The reality is we haven't had enduring global leadership on, on much, and it's hard to imagine that changing soon. This is partly because superpowers are terribly burdened with global biblical wars and domestic challenges, the WEF warned. A global gov is their proposed solution. Look at that! It's like the Antichrist stuff here. <laughs> the, the system of the Antichrist. Um, it says, A big November year won't stop our recurrent crisis of political legitimacy. The WEF warns that the this info is threatening the biggest uh, uh, November year in history. Hence, the, na uh, the need for global... All right, so they need, uh, again, you guys already know the the sensor both on streets and online. Mm. And they've been doing that for many, many years. They're really trying to uh, duct tape us and just keep everything quiet. The forum warns that democracy is declining largely due to policy it implemented. All right, so they basically uh, they are basically uh, putting out a message, a warning that we need to shift everything. We need to keep everything under control. We need to put more, uh, remove videos, remove all this stuff that these people are putting out. People like us. All right, so a unrest is rising, and the WEF is prepared for the descent. Furthermore, they already recognize that no one will accept the result of the November if the VP wins guys I mean have you seen 
Have you seen Arizona? Donald, have you seen? Those, they packed that stadium. They literally packed the stadium. There's no way that 4-5 or five could lose this one. So people have fought back in all system, driven by convention, that there must be a better, more effective way to gov, to govern. In most lands, even after their vote, citizens would continue to challenge their leaders, questioning whether they have the capacity to tackle our many post-2020 risks. In other words, the people have become unruling and are turning on Gov. The WEF is prepared to crush any rebellion before it occurs. A more complex global mental issue crisis. So you have a uh, countless studies show that uh, mental issue drastically declined among every nation that implemented the lockdowns. Two years of 24-7 food mongering of business and facility closures, job losses, and isolation have permanently changed our society. The, w the WEF now that they're... Give me a second here, guys. The WEF now that's that there is new type of anxiety leading to a sense of uh, alienation that makes it hard to function and even hmm, a lot of this stuff here I'm going to have to skip guys. A lot of this stuff here I'm going to have to skip. Let's go with this bottom one here. And I'm going to save this for Patreon too. But uh, yeah, I mean, there was some stuff there that uh, this platform would literally suspend me. And just, if you guys don't believe me, again, you could go on Twitter, Team YouTube. Just go to Team YouTube and just message them and they tell you. So an era of shock events. Perhaps the most ominous piece in the article is Claus' promise that the world is on the cusp of an era of shock events. Enduring the global leadership and demo uh, democratic the ideals, globalization, and the left values have all been notably challenged. And superpower are overstretched, the foreign stated, further added. This period of muddling through means anything can happen in our post-2020 era. Look for global risk to be further exacerbated by unexpected uh, destabilizing uh, shock events. Now, these are the three major shockwave events that the WEF plans to orchestrate. Number one, a new global extreme group emerges. And number two, a cyber event. All right. Here's the deal, guys. I see where this article is going, and I'm going to have to save this for Patreon. This story here is, uh, is a big red alert to, uh, to this platform. This platform really don't like stories like that. And I have nothing against Zero Hedge. But uh, every time I read Zero Hedge stuff, that's when I get hit uh, from this platform. I literally get hit. I do. I get hit by this platform. Um, again, like I said, I have nothing against Zero Hedge. But uh, stories like that, uh, I should leave it for Patreon. So we're going to talk more about that over at Patreon. But you guys get the idea of what's going on and all these uh, plans of future world events. All right, so we're going to go with this one here. B2 Stealth Bomber hot pits at Ocean Indian Ocean Air Base positioned within striking range of Persia. Mm. Yeah, but they're not going to strike Persia. They're not going to strike Persia. I mean, again, if that happens, uh, then uh, 
you know, you know, they're gonna drag us into this biblical war. The Mid E has been on edge all week as the world awaits a retaliatory Persian strike on the Holy Land that could spark a regional conflict. As of Friday, the Holy Land and Persia backed Hezbollah. Uh, rebels have been exchanging fire in an oil tanker earlier this week in the southern Red Sea was hit by flying objects likely from Persia backed hoodie now guys uh, they've been taking out the MQ-9 Reaper I mean my goodness again those MQ-9 Reapers the drones they're not cheap <laughs> they're not cheap and they've taken out our MQ-9 Reaper with all eyes on the mid E, our attention shift to a hot pit event. On Wednesday, with a North Rob B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber and a U.S. Air Force Airman assigned to the 110th Expeditionary Bomb Squadron at the Naval Support Facility Diego Garcia in the Indian Ocean. Mm. Here we go. You got them birds out there. This is why Persia has not fired yet. This is why Persia hasn't fired yet. So the Sleeping Giant military uses Diego Garcia as a strategic point for launching operation in the Indo-Pacific. Now the hot pit event allowed the B-2 to land and refuel without shutting its engine down. Mm. Now if we lose a tanker or don't get a tanker for area of refueling, a hot pit enables us to move out. To move our jet from location to location, refuel and complete the mission said a 110th EBS uh, deputy commander and B-2 pilots. USAF noted that conducting hot pit events in various locations around the globe enables air crew and support airmen to maintain a high state of readiness uh, pro uh, proficiency. Let me see. Give me a second here, guys. Jeez, look at this. Oh, man. Wow. That's your sleeping giant right there. The sleeping giants are all over the world. They have all these stuff in different parts of the world. Diego Garcia is located about 1,000 miles off the southern tip of India and it's more than 3,000 miles from Persia. B-2s have a range of about 6,000 nautical miles. Wow. A Sleeping Giant Institute of Peace map shows Persia ballistic missile range from 200 kilometers to 3,000 kilometers. That's 123 miles to 1,864 miles. This put Diego Garcia out of Persia threat range. A nervous calm has been cast over energy markets as Brent crude hovers below $80 a barrel in late afternoon trading on Friday. All right, give me a second here, guys. I want to see if there's any more information here. Hmm.
All right, so it seems like this is all the information. We have Gavin. What is this? Hold on, let me show you something really quick here. Gavin jokes about Harris landing nomination without primary laughs as he was told to call it inclusive. Um, and it seems like this is going to be all the information, all the information here, guys. Usually the uh, late night videos is just uh, all the updates, but uh, it seems like this is all of it. And I truly apologize if I couldn't read the rest of the article, but uh, again, I'm trying not to get suspended here. Uh, again, this platform has a policy. If you read their policy, you will be in shock. TikTok is a lot worse. That's why I don't make videos on TikTok. TikTok uh, has completely just went overboard. I mean, their, their policy is just out of control. Um, so, yeah, it seems like this is all the breaking news, guys. This is going to be all the breaking news for tonight. But thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your support. At the very end, things will happen in the world. There's going to be stuff to come. Scripture tells us it will happen. But at the same time, there is so many verses in the Bible that tells us, do not be afraid of the things of the world. For we are in Christ and we have scriptures. And it's very important to memorize the Bible verses. It's very important to get into the word of God. And um, just stay in prayer. So, again, this is all the information, guys. If you want to check out some more videos, check out the videos I post in the comment box. I did post, uh, I think I post nine videos, right? I think nine or ten. So, I've been busy today, guys. Make sure you check out my new channel, The Rise Up Warrior. I'm posting videos on that channel, too. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a good night. For those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.